Lucy, I'm home. Anybody? Lucy! What the? What in the? Huh? I don't remember leaving this here. Lucy? What are you doing outside? Hello, Jim. I thought I could keep you warm by the fire tonight. You thought we could sit by the fire? Yes, Joe. I saw you cheating on me with the laptop. Come on, Lucy. The laptop is nothing compared to you. Her 9400F CPU and NVIDIA 1660T Max-Q can't even begin to touch you. So you call the laptop a her now? Um... Somebody cue that title screen. Hello, and welcome back to The Only Joe. Today we are going to be looking at the cooling of the Alienware R11. So let's begin our deep dive into the cooling before we get to the benchmarks. The R11 has a single 120 millimeter exhaust fan attached to the top radiator, and a single 120 millimeter intake fan in the front of the case. Strangely, Dell clearly has the room to mount a second 120 millimeter front intake fan and even has the cutout already in place in the case. But instead of a second fan, which they clearly have room for, Dell opted instead for a 3.5 inch hard drive bay. The radiator up top, which has the top exhaust fan mounted in a push configuration, is one of the beefiest 120 millimeter radiators that I've ever seen. At two and a quarter inches thick, this thing is huge for 120 millimeter rad. The right side panel simply has this honeycomb pattern cut into it to allow for additional airflow. For this test, I didn't simply ride around and look at component temperatures. No, I use science. These Govi wireless temp and humidity sensors were used for this test. One was mounted in the front of the case to the empty three and a half inch hard drive cage. The other was mounted in the bottom of the case. A third was left in the room for control. Over the next two weeks, I played Assassin's Creed Odyssey in control for two to three hours at a time. The data from the Govies were exported to a CSV file and a simple script was written to anonymize the data so I wouldn't know what data I was analyzing. This was done to remove the possibility of data bias. We can see here that the R11 basically acts as a small space heater, which is unsurprising as this is true of every electrical device. I started gaming in the morning when it was cooler outside and finished gaming in the afternoon. As I live in Georgia and winter is a thing that doesn't exist, houses naturally get warmer as the day heats up. For a clearer picture, let's switch over to a Delta T measurement. The red bar represents the bottom sensor and the yellow bar is the front. We can see that the front temp and the front of the case begins at a higher temp than the bottom. The fans rev up to high, cooling the case, and then the bottom sensor overtakes the front sensor. This happens on both sets of data. The bottom sensor gradually overtakes the front sensor. I was beginning to get confused, so I ran a sanity test and combined both sets of data. Both sets clearly follow the same trend line. Hot air rises, so the bottom sensor should not be hotter. Is the graphics card causing this? Yes. The PNY 2070 Super uses a blower style cooler which draws air down to the bottom of the case and exhaust out the back. Let's take one more look at our sanity test. While both sets of data follow the same trend line, one set is clearly higher than the other. Why? To figure this out, I unanonymized the data and found that the game control runs at a higher temp than Assassin's Creed. This is unsurprising to learn that not all games, even modern AAA titles, tax this computer equally. 
I think that Dell here has missed an opportunity to lower temps by not including a second intake fan in favor of a slow mechanical hard drive. This is 2020. Mechanical hard drives have no place in a modern gaming system. A second intake fan would create a positive pressure environment and assist in cooling. The entry level R11 could simply use a regular 2.5 inch SATA SSD while only increasing their starting price by $20 to $30. It is worth noting that at no time have I seen the R11 engage in thermal throttling. The cooling system in the R11 is adequate. A second intake fan might make it great. If you like this video or learned something today, don't forget to like or subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next time.